bail you out of jail again? Or is it that I just never bailed you out? Hey! You steamed up the lens with your little nostrils. What's up, guys? I'm out here. The sun is starting to go down. It's probably on my shoulder. Let me see if I can fix it. Sunshine on my shoulder. I can't find it. It's there. Anyway, I have been busy, man. I had to weed eat all in between these fallen trees. Got all this stuff weed eated. In between all this junk. Still got to pick up that box, but it's coming. It's coming, I promise you. In the bed, too. Yeah, a lot of weeds. Yeah, just been cleaning up a little here and there. Let's show you what I got on the build. Hopefully the sun won't be in the way. I haven't got to it. I've been working on the yard for the last couple days, but it did come out the other morning. Finished painting up there. And uh, as far as that... Part, that's as far as I went uh, but I'm glad I got that painted the wasps I got out here about 7 in the morning they weren't awake yet and I'm not even sure if they're still in there oh, and the garden I believe we may get some tomatoes I've been out here picking all the dead leaves off got some that are producing and come on up here I've seen a few this morning, but I think these will have just enough time to get me a few tomatoes. A lot of blossoms. I mean, they're kind of scraggly looking, but this one here, here we go. We got something coming out. A lot of blossoms in there. This had a lot of dead leaves. I pulled all them off. Uh, I'll probably get some off of this. Pick that clean of dead leaves. You want to get those off of tomatoes, they're not good. Peppers are still doing real good. One died in there, one died in there. So, we got to sacrifice one to save the others. But, you say, what else has been going on, dog man? Not much. Ooh. Look at the cayennes coming out. I don't need any more cayennes. Got a lot of peppers coming out. What? The new truck's here. Yeah. Let's go take a look. Before we do, though, Mr. Waddles wanted to say hi to everybody. What you doing, Waddles? <laughs> He's waddling. Hard to film through chain link fence. He's a fine looking specimen, isn't he? Stands up straight, and boy, he's just got a good posture. Yeah, you do. All right. Where are you other guys at? You go to bed? Oh, they're broody. Yep, they're broody. Well, what's up with you, Bessie Lou? You got some of your bumper strip coming off. Well, I have to cut that piece off and glue it on. She's still running good, but uh, got some training issues. We got to get fixed. Here's the new one. I hereby dub the big dog. And let me tell you, I'm six foot one. Look how high this thing comes up, guys. Almost to my shoulders. This thing is not fun to get into. Now, I just brought it home for the weekend. Uh, still got to wait. We got to get the new tires on it. Still got them old tires. We're going to switch out. Oh, excuse me. Switch out that ugly, rusty rim. And then on the way home, I discovered the shocks are bad. So, we've got to install some new shocks as well. But other than that, we've had brand new brakes installed all the way around and fronts backs we had a new transmission pan put in transmission service uh all the fluids changed the new rails installed because when it was stolen they took the rails they took the headache rack uh 
it does have some bumps and bruises but i don't buy a vehicle for the beauty i buy it for the motor and this thing let me show you well the light went out we're inside find the key That's why I bought it, if you can see that. 70,573 miles. This is a 2012. It also had a new air conditioner put in, new air conditioner, uh, air compressor pump. Uh, it, was, it had an issue with it. Uh, fired up. Boy, this thing runs good. Got the power. Baby, I am not going nowhere. Also had a new windshield. Let me turn this air conditioner down. New windshield installed it was cracked what had happened the guy had stolen the vehicle the guy had stolen this vehicle had it a few months and was rough on it man there's dents in both the back not i mean nothing that can't be fixed uh but he just drove the hell out of it and cut off the catalytic converters uh took the headache rack off i'm gonna get a new one of them he just did a lot of damage but you know things that could be fixed so I, I did put quite a bit of money into getting it back up uh, where it needs to be like i say we got to put shocks in it i was driving at home he wanted me to take it home for the weekend see if you know how it did and i, I hit a bump on my road he didn't notice it in town because the town uh, where he test drives smooth road a smooth highway so as soon as i hit my road it's rough uh hit a bump and just da, 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 the front end shakes that's what happens when your shocks are bad uh, it's nothing to do i mean we had a front end alignment done uh new brakes it wasn't the brakes they didn't get warm so it's shocks and we're gonna put new shocks on it next week he'll call me when the tires are in i guess tires are really hard to get right now i don't know but it's got city boy tires on it we don't those don't work out here we gotta get some all terrains on here so I've got those coming those weren't cheap but you don't drive a four-wheel drive truck around here with city boy tires on you know street tires can't doesn't what's the point not to mention they're bald they're close to it so and he has to put in uh, a couple of tire sensors so we'll get all that stuff worked out but there's big dog gonna be a whole lot nicer driving with an automatic transmission than having to grind that clutch that thing's been messing up on me so anyway just want to put this out uh, I'm still keeping my Chevy I am NOT a Ford person at all I'm a Chevy person but vehicles are very hard to find now I mean especially ones that are a good deal yeah I had to sink quite a bit of money into this to get it back to where it needed to be but I'm still under book value even in with the body issues it has and this has an eight foot bed so i can haul a lot of things it has twenty thousand pound tow capacity it's a super duty i think it was a 6.2 motor 6.1 something like that but it's got a lot of power and uh yeah it's gonna eat some gas but i don't go very many places you know and my house is paid for i got no bills so yeah i can drop a couple hundred bucks a month in the tank that ain't gonna hurt me so anyway guys just thought i'd introduce you to big dog happy trails this is libby liverson you want to tell folks how silly you are i'm gonna tell them how silly you are last night i heard all kinds of commotion i thought it was coming from the chicken pen see i had a tarp hanging over there and she had somehow quit rolling in that she had somehow gotten wrapped up in that tarp and man i grabbed my rifle i thought something was, something was getting the chickens so I grabbed my rifle come out here and there she is all rolled up in that tarp so we got the tarp gone here come here and then you went for a walk and then you were okay and then i put you up for the night because you're silly that's my baby What you gonna do with that eyebrow right there? It's pretty big. What you gonna do with it? If you don't know. <laughs>